Good morning, it's your boy Pokedom, aka Hunter McToyfinder, the Yorkshire picker. Sat waiting in the QUEUE, -E, getting and find some hidden treasures, turn those pennies into pounds. If you're American, make those cents make sense, make a dollar want to holler. Wish me luck, guys, I'm flying solo today, totally hand solo today. I was going to take you to a different location, but I got the FOMO, the fear of missing out. So I've come to the regular spot because I've got regulars here, regular sellers that save stuff for me, that hold it back until I get in and have a look. So it's sort of bread and butter, makes sense, those purchases make sense to come here. But I will take that leap of faith and take you to a different destination, mix it up, change the scenery at some point soon. Stay tuned, and if you've not yet, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, it helps me out, and I appreciate it, you know I do. Let's go, let's do this. We'll grab some boxes for them now. Have a route whilst I go through it. We'll get them out. History of WrestleMania. We'll have that one. I'm only going for sealed games. Got another wrestling DVD. Let's hit that. Oh, TF. £20. Isn't it? Because Stone Cold said so. Oh, I've got all them wrestling ones there. DVDs though. Well right pile now man. F1 racing championship for PS1. There is some games that good job I came and looked. We'll them. F1 racing championship, we've got some more there. Take we'll them five copies of that game. Not me. I'll we'll take them five that I found. I'll just leave them on the seat, Mel. Sorry? I'll leave them on that seat. Yeah, I'll, no, go for a, I'll go for a wonder and I'll come back and we'll settle up. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't worry, I'll sort them out. We'll tot them all up and sort it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, see you soon. Right, thank you. <laughs> We don't actually know very much what we do again. That's fine. Right. That's fine. Yeah. Do you know if you have any other collectible cards like Pokemon? Are they all in Pokemon there? Or or anything like that? No Pokemon. No Pokemon. Sorry. The Pokemon there. Growlithe. Is this the table? Yes. That's it. See. One, two. Oh, that is a Pokemon card. Yeah, this is a Pokemon. <laughs> I think it's a McDonald's one. Possibly, yeah. Oh, some more in there. Maybe, maybe it's a Short for the small pile of Pokemon cards, probably about six of them. Yeah. Pound? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Not so much found there. Help Mel unpack. 
got first dibs on a whole load of wrestling DVDs, which I've, I've done well on before. Um, just off camera now, as we're coming to the car, I've got a job lot of Point Horror teen fiction books. I remember that they do quite well. Paid £10 for a big job lot. Onwards and upwards. Looking like a quite quiet one here. Blah, 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 blah. Looking quiet. Just en route to the final car boot here. And we've stumbled across this very small one. Just gonna have a quick look around, see what we can find out here. Well guys, not so much so far today. We're down to the fourth and final car boot now. Hopefully we get a little bit better look. Hopefully we find something decent. Fingers crossed. Turn those pennies into pounds. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bigger then. Morning. Good morning. Ooh, what's this? Banzai Jaguar XR9. Oh, that's yellow, isn't it? That's a shame. So yellow. We'll take that though. We'll take a punt on that. Six pound. Avoid the RC. Don't avoid the RC. Buy it. What else we got here? Model set academy. Comet miniatures at six pound. Don't know what year it was. So content so. What have you got on these, Louis? You got a six, a three, ooh, bugger. Break it, you buy it. Yes, that's three. So you got 12 on them. What's mm -hmm. that one? So, 13. The Lido Bean Street Kids. Cheers, and just like that we are back inside the treasure trove we're gonna take a look at the things that we found today but before we do if i can quickly ask you to give the video a little thumbs up just give that little click because i've noticed that the sort of ratio between views and likes that i'm getting is, is not very high so if you could give us a little a little thumbs up that'd be that'd be really really appreciated also if you've not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you do that because you don't want to miss out on all those future goodies that i find do you you know what do you so we've got a good deal of sealed items from our good old friend mel today we'll go through those we got a whole bunch of dvds pretty exciting one this uh transformers headmasters box set still sealed all the stuff from mel that i pick up i go for the sealed stuff i don't bother to look everything up individually i just think that's sealed it's good it'll sell and that looks like it's got comps i think used comps of over 30 pounds i think i've listed this around 50 i might have even been greedy and put it on for 60 i'm not entirely sure comp screenshot <laughs> We got these two wrestling DVDs. These are the two that we got multiples of anyway that are really worth mentioning. Stone Cold, cause Stone Cold said so. I think we got 12 copies of that, I'm gonna say, and that looks like that sells for really decent money. And the same can be said for WrestleMania, the history of WrestleMania, one to nine, if I'm good at Roman numerals, one to nine. I think I got nine copies of that, funny enough. And that again, sells for really quite decent money sealed. So they're really good, good finds. Good finds. Good finds, good finds, good finds, good finds, good finds. What else did we get? We got a couple of copies of this Transformers DVD, which doesn't look as though it makes much money. A few copies of Batista, which I can't quite remember how much that one sells for. But all the stuff that you saw me get from Mel, I think he gave him £65, but we do have this standing agreement where if I do well from things, whenever I see him again, I give him a little bit of extra money, which is nice. He's an old fella, I wouldn't want to take advantage of him, so. We like to be fair. Cage Rage Fearless, I don't know if I've even looked that one up yet. Don't even know the guys on it, no offense guys. I'll show you all. Winners in your own rights. And what else did we get from Mel? F1 Racing. Now, I don't usually buy sports games, but it's a sealed PlayStation 1 game, and I got, I think, five copies of it. You'd be silly not to buy that. I don't think I managed to find sealed comps, um, but I'm sure we'll come up with a price. I don't know. We'll make one up. So that's what I got from Mel. 
What else did I pick up today? Well, a whole bunch or three bundles of point horror books because somewhere in the back of my mind I remembered that they are decent or some of them are really really good. Even as bundles are, they still do quite well. There's Nightmare Hall series of four there and then some of the classic ones, some of the really classic ones from the 90s like The Lifeguard, Babysitter 1 and 2, The Mummy, Beach Party, was the chaps in the R.L. Stein? Steen? Stein. R.L. Stein, he's the one you want to look for. I think he's the guy that started Point Horror and then other authors got on board. But R.L. Stein are the ones that you that you really want to find, as far as I can remember. Don't quote me on it. I think I'll probably end up bundling those. I'm not sure. I looked a few up and some are around seven or eight pounds a piece. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can legitimise taking the time to list them all um, singly. I don't know what the return will be like after shipping and fees. Take away, is it though? Two hundred ninety-eight frozen patties later. My takeaway just turned up. <laughs> Shouldn't even be doing it. Shouldn't be. I'm sinning. I'm sinning. Shouldn't be eating takeaway. Shouldn't be eating takeaway. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I just forget to. Yeah, it's beyond difficult, nigh on impossible to compete with the likes of World of Books and all the other big book resellers on eBay and Amazon because they have contracts with shipping companies that make it so, so cheap for them to ship individual books. Sometimes you can buy a book on eBay cheaper than it would be for me to post it, if that makes sense. So yeah, you can sell it at a loss or just sell them as bundles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell them as bundles, I'm waffling now. Picked up a stack of PlayStation 2 games. Don't know why I did. I know they're not worth anything and it's very rare that you find one that's worth anything at all. Spider-Man 2, Golden Compass, Smuggler's Run, Starsky and Hutch, Beverly Hills Cop. I only paid three pound, I think, for the whole stack. So even as a job lot, I'm gonna make some money on them, but maybe not very much. But again, at three pounds, can't really go wrong, can you? Do that take away. I'm coming for you. Now you guys know that I've got a soft spot for vintage RC. I picked up this, I think I picked this one off, off camera. It's a very, very small Porsche 911. Not sure of the age on it. Made by Saicom, Saicom, however you pronounce that. Not yet tested it, but it looks very clean. I think I paid, I paid a pound. I paid one pound for that. You, you just do. You just got to, haven't you? Also picked up this Jaguar XR9, made by Bandai, no less. Le Mans 24 hour racing. This one is a fair bit discolored. Discolored. In fact, it looks almost nicotine stained. True to the 80s. Everyone smokes in their houses in the 80s. Again, not tested it yet, but it's worth the gamble at £6. I don't know if you saw in a previous video. But I picked up um, a vintage RC just a month or so back that sold for £195. What's that one now? The frame buggy, frame buggy, Bolo, Nico frame buggy it was. By the time I reached the third car boot, I seem to have a bit of a penchant for. But I bought diecast. I never buy, never buy diecast. I've not even looked that one up yet. It's very thin on the ground today. This was from the same seller as the Jaguar XR9, XJR9 remote control. This is a. Train carriage. <laughs> I looked it up and saw that it was worth decent money. It's not sealed or, if, well, it looks like it's been opened at some point. Oh, the seal's come undone at some point and then it's been sellotaped up. Made by Siku Stad Rundf Stad Rundfart Dresden. Well, that's German then, isn't it? I think. I know where Dresden is because I like the book Slaughterhouse 5. Uh, 5? Yeah. Slaughterhouse 5. Why am I questioning what the book's called? Slaughterhouse 9. No, it's five, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Kurt Bonnerhut. So I know my German, as far as that goes. Stad Rundfahrt. Stad Rundfahrt bit sounds Dutch, but no, Dresden's definitely in Germany. Whew, what else did I buy? I also bought some definitely gonna win scratch cards. Two grand, you're gonna win on that one. There's five of them in there. It sounds horrible, but I'm gonna wear. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna give those, or at least one of those, to my grandmother and let her scratch and win. But she's an old lady. I mean, look at her. She's old. She's too old. She probably just won't even react. It's like, yeah. I want two grand. What else did we get? Academy Models Spitfire. Again, from the same lady as the Jaguar and the Dresden Diecast. Unused Spitfire kit. I don't think it's particularly old, but 
I don't know. I don't even know if I looked it up. I don't know. You just do sometimes. Sometimes you don't know why. You just do. Same thing. Either you karate do yes or karate do no. You karate do guess so. Just like grip. I think it was because I think I bought the models actually because I bought some other models just last week and they were really valuable. So I just ended up. Oh yeah, models. I am Academy sealed Canonan Vogel. Canonan Vogel. <laughs> Canon and Vogel. Someone's bought that from a charity shop for five pounds and then sold it at the car boat for three pounds. Canon and Vogel. Luftwaffe. I don't know. <laughs> and is that it? Oh, no, that's not it. Because the best thing I bought today was this last thing. And I didn't actually buy them at the car boot. I bought them. Yeah, I did. But I didn't. Bought them from a chap that I see all the time at the car boot. I bump into him every week and he says, I've got something in my car boot for you that I got this morning. He bought them from a different car boot and paid, oh, you don't even want to know what he paid. Paid a pound each. Paid a pound each for these. I went and paid him £10 each because they are well worth it. I think they sell as a set. We've got all four brothers. We found three Ninja Turtles plenty of times. This time we found all four brothers. Raphael. Say hi, Raph. Hi, Raph. Hey, look. I think he's blushing. <laughs> I am not. I think he's actually turning red. <gasps> uh, hmm, maybe not. Mm -hmm. And Michelangelo. Mm -hmm. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Yes, Michelangelo. Yeah, these are the large, uh, large version plushies. These are like 13 inch or 14 inch, most people describe them as. 1989 Playmates, Mirage, absolute classics. These boys are almost certainly gonna stay with me, even though I could probably sell them for like 100, 110 pounds maybe. They're gonna stay with me. <laughs> They're my Ninja Turtles, you're not having them. Forget about it. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it I think. That's it for another video. Thank you for coming and joining me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you've not yet. Maybe watch another one of these videos over here. Until next time guys, happy hunting, stay positive, stay safe, love you all, bye bye.